Hey everyone, this is George Kroos and welcome back to another episode of My Tip Monday. Hey y'all, thanks for being here today. Really pumped that you could join me. And this is season two, episode seven of Mindset Monday. And what I'm going to talk about today is about taking the next step, but also having a bigger goal. And really, it was inspired by this video. And I just want you to take a second uh, to watch this. This is actually from Goalcast. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you all. It's a really great message. What is your advice to overthinkers? Um, a quote that has helped me immeasurably and it's from a book called the horse the boy the fox and the mole the boy and a horse are in the woods and a boy says to the horse i can't see a way through and the horse says can you see your next step and a boy says yeah and the horse says then just take that wow and it hit me yeah all of the time we we look at the goal we look at the future we look at the end game we look at how long a journey it is and we yeah. feel overwhelmed yeah instead of that just go right I'm not going to worry about that because that, that will come. With each step, you will get closer to that. So I don't need to worry about how far away it is. All I need to focus on right now is my next step. So I love that video from Goalcast. And it made me kind of think about something that I'm going through um, right now. It's something that I'm thinking about because I think what is really easy to get caught up in that video is the idea of just focus on the next step, which I think is really important. I've actually talked about this uh, in my own version of this story, and uh, it's about how I run hills, right? I'm not a big fan of running hills. It is very tiring, and I felt that um, one of the things I really struggled with was you see the top of the hill, right? And you're, you're going up a hill. It's already tiring, and a lot of times when I would focus, and I would just look at the top of the hill. I would actually just stop and start walking. I'm gonna get really frustrating. And so basically what I started doing was just looking about five feet ahead of me because I could make five feet ahead of me. That's not an issue, but you just look down and you do it over and over again. And eventually you're at the top of the hill, right? And I think that taking that next step is a really important aspect, but there, I, maybe there's not a but, but there's an and. I think the and is what is that goal? What is that goal? Because I think that sometimes we can aimlessly just do things and we can be focusing on the process, right? You, I'm sure you're all familiar with James Clear, Atomic Habits. If you haven't read that book, I highly suggest it. It's probably one of the best selling books over the last couple of years in the world, to be honest with you. Um, it's a great book and it's really focused on the systems and habits. And I think those are really important, but it's also kind of working toward um, something bigger, right? And think about this in education. A lot of times we're just kind of doing our thing day to day to day. But what's the bigger goal that we're going to achieve, right? And I'm not saying there isn't one, but sometimes we don't identify it ourselves. It's just kind of like, is it getting through the end of the year? Is that our big goal? Is that like what's really pulling us? Um, and it's, it's kind of going into something. And the reason I said that I'm kind of going through this myself is I'm right now at a weight that I'm pretty happy with. It's actually the goal weight that I kind of set out. And uh, I want to get, you know, leaner, like more muscular, I guess, things like that too. But I felt that one of the things that was really driving me was I would work on that process. I would do as, you know, the gentleman said in the video, just look at that next step. And then eventually I got to the point and now I got to the point and now I'm struggling a bit. And I, I'd love to say like, hey, Mindset Monday. <laughs> It's all, it's all about, you know, like just, but I want to share ups and downs because it's reality, right? And I think the struggle I'm having right now is what's my goal? Because I feel a little bit, and this is where I get in trouble, is where I get a little bit aimless in my pursuits. That um, I hit a goal and then I just struggle. And I think uh, I've lost significant amounts of weight before. And one of the, one of the times I added on weight um, was when I was doing marathons. So I'd set out, I was actually, you know, doing pretty fast marathons. I'd set out to uh, run a qualifying time, actually, and a break, break my ankle. That's a whole other story um, in a marathon. And I would run, run, run. And then all of a sudden I said, you know, I, can, I need to take some time off. And, and then I just started running to run. And I would take the next step, but to what? And then eventually you, you don't, you don't really, you kind of lose it. And there's actually a thing called runner's depression. 
And runner's depression happens when you prepare for a race, right? You have this race that you're, you're going to achieve. You're kind of going through a routine. And I used to say this to people all the time. And if you've, if you've ran like a race, a marathon, half marathon, things like that, I would always say this. The marathon is actually not that hard. It's the training. The training is really, really tough. Because if you do the training properly, by the time you get to the marathon, you're ready. You're ready to go. You're prepped. Then, of course, like, I was downplaying a bit of marathons, really, really tough. But training's hard, right? Because you're putting in tons of distance, tons of process, right? But you kind of have this goal. But the runner's depression happens when you're, when you're done the race. And then you're like, well, now what? And I think this is where I'm, and maybe I'm just kind of talking this out. Sometimes I struggle because I feel sometimes uh, you you kind of feel aimless because you don't have that next big goal. But sometimes it's, it's okay not to have a big goal, right? But I think sometimes you have to kind of recalibrate and kind of think about this stuff. And really kind of looking at that too is that when we focus on the next step, but we don't see an end point, we don't even identify something that we're trying to achieve, then the next step becomes a little bit harder to make, Right. Because we're like, well, why, why am I even taking this? And I think that's one of the things I'm struggling right now with right now is what is my next goal? And I, I, I've learned through the years that I can give myself a little time with this. And I think right now I'm kind of contemplating, you know, is it a race? Is it not like a race to win, but like a race to achieve, right? Like, do I want to run maybe perhaps like, cause I want to start get back into running races is doing a half marathon. Um, but not just a half marathon, uh, but completing a certain time because I'm kind of at that point right now. And that's, that's what, uh, I, that's what I kind of want to think about. And so thinking about that on a personal level for my health and wellness, right? It's kind of good to have those bigger goals. And I've talked about this before is breaking stuff down into like small, medium and big size goals. So the the next step, right? I, every single day I focus on, Hey, here's the amount of calories I want to burn in my exercise according to Apple watch. I don't know why I made that sound, <laughs> but also like a certain amount of steps I want to hit. So that's like my next step. But then I have like a weekly goal that I'm trying to achieve, but then I have like a bigger goal. And right now what I'm missing is that bigger goal. Right. And the workout is still becoming a little bit harder right now. Right. Because I'm like, Hey, what is that goal? And I think I'm just trying to figure that out. Um, just kind of to make sure that I'm keeping my health in check, that I don't get to a weight that I'm actually uncomfortable with, not actually, you know, losing too much weight. Uh, I want to be, you know, certain size, I guess. Um, so that's something that I'm struggling with. And you can kind of hear it probably in my voice. And I am openly trying to struggle with this, trying to figure it out. And I think that's, you know, part of the Mindset Monday is sharing our vulnerability, sh- sharing that sometimes you struggle. So think about that too is, hey, are you exercising daily? Are, are you eating healthy daily? And do, are you doing it just to do it? Or you, do you have something that you're trying to achieve through that process? Because I think when we have something that pulls us, um, something compelling that really helps, but also what are the systems in place? It's not a one or the other, because sometimes I've done the opposite. I've had the big goal, but I don't take the next step. I don't just do the next thing. Uh, the other aspect of this too is on a professional level, right? Uh, I, I've, I, I wanted to eventually, you know, think about getting my doctorate, going through that process. But I was like, do I want to just get my doctorate so people have to call me Dr. Kuros? Or is there something really compelling, right? Is there something to that for me? And I don't necessarily see the bigger picture. And so I think that's kind of a thing that, I'm, and anyone who's doing that, good for you, right? Maybe that's, and I'm sure there's something more compelling than just, you know, putting doctor in front of your name. Um, but for me, that's, that's not it. I I look at, um, that I write every single week as part of my process, but I also really kind of think about those bigger goals as I'm doing this podcast this season, kind of going through this. Um, I have the goal of kind of doing a podcast weekly. I've set out to do, um, 10 episodes at a time in a season, but I also want to take this and create something bigger. So every time I sit down and do this, I write some notes down and go through this process, but I have a bigger vision of what I want to achieve. And I think that sometimes pulls me. Uh, it's something you know tangible that I can create. So as you're looking at your professional life, right? Are you, do you have some big goal you're achieving, want to achieve, and what is that? So that's one aspect of it. And what are the steps that you're taking each day? And I want you to ask yourself, are you taking steps each day toward a goal? 
or are you taking steps each day to take steps, right? And then the opposite, I want you to think about this. Do you have a big goal in mind, but are you doing the things that you need to do each day to get to that point? And I think for me, when I'm missing one, it's not, a, it's and like, I love that video. I think it's so powerful. It's such a great thinker, but I also think there's, there's more to it. You got to It's not one or the other. You got to have both. So what are those systems? What are those things that you are doing every single day? What is that bigger goal that's compelling us? And what I love about this is in education and learning, the big goals can change as can, as can our systems, right? At some point I want to like be great runner, kind of go through this, but maybe at some point I want to, you know, get more into like muscle development. And those are two different workouts. Those are two different systems, two different types of eating habits. But I got to ask myself, what are those bigger goals? So think about that. What is that next step that you're taking? And what's, what's the, the end goal that you have? And you you actually see in my progression pictures, if you ever check them out, uh, you can kind of see behind me when I started really making changes when I started really making changes behind me, there was, uh, when I first started working out, there was like just a picture. It was like Muhammad Ali, something like that. I have Muhammad Ali pictures in my, um, in my home gym. And, uh, and I love them. I always look at them. They inspire me. But one of the things I replaced them, one of the pictures with was a board and the board was like kind of like a vision board. I wrote my goal and then I wrote every single day. What do I want to do? What are the things I'm doing? Those are the small steps. Then it's, you know, write down, the, the, my steps, how I was getting to that space, but I also had that goal weight that I, I wanted to get to. And what I got to figure out for myself right now is what is that new goal? Cause I hit the weight, right? What is that new goal that I want to achieve? Because I'm kind of struggling with doing the steps, but not knowing where I'm going, right? Sometimes that's good. And sometimes I'm okay with going through that process, but I know if I do that too long, I won't want to take the steps anymore. So hopefully uh, through my own confusion and vulnerability and trying to figure stuff out, you maybe thought about something else, but ask yourself what those steps are, whether they're personal or professional, what you're trying to achieve. Because I think that, like I said, you need both. It can't be one or the other because we'll get lost. The, The goal will be too big that we'll never see the small steps along the way. But if we don't set up the steps, we'll never get to that end goal. So I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know what I just said, but hey, thanks for being here with me. I hope you got something. I'd love to hear your, uh, check out, write some comments, maybe, and maybe Mindset Monday, maybe this one is more like you can help me, help me kind of clarify my thinking and hopefully maybe the struggle, um, being so open with it, um, could be beneficial to somebody else, but I hope you enjoyed that episode of Mindset Monday. I don't know what just happened, but hey, we'll, we'll figure it out. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for all you do. Take care.